position of Felixstowe uh, matters. Uh, we've got a sunny day here in Felixstowe again today, although we can't see out a window from the studio, but I did check earlier. It's not raining, it's not thundering, it's not lightning. We've got a brilliant day and I think uh, it can only get worse. So uh, today we've got uh, um, a very, very interesting subject for you. Uh, it's uh, a small business that's up in Beach Station Road and I've got Heather Prince. So welcome Heather to Felix Hello. Doe TV and to Felix Doe Matters. Now your business I understand is called Purple Prince. Yes, Purple Prince Design. Yeah, Purple Prince Design. Okay, so my first question to you is tell me what, what is Purple Prince? How, how can you put that out to me? Purple Prince Design is a shop for arts and crafts but it's also workshops um, teaching people really how to come and do it for themselves make beautiful things <laughs> learn a new skill yeah so how, how long have you been in beach station right? what makes you what made you start it up as a business because uh, obviously beforehand you must have been doing it as, as, as a hobby um i was i learnt what i what i do the decorative art side of things um yeah. in 1995 um had sort of gone from you know flitting about from things to things and mm. uh, then I decided to do a degree in art and design when I was 35. Oh wow, now I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then decided that I'd like to teach other people how to do it um, and then it went from there to children as well and Purple Prince design came alive really and, came, and alive. came from there two and a half years ago yeah. Um, and it seems to be going from strength to strength. We right. we get people, all sorts, all sorts of people coming in wanting to learn how to do things. And yeah. Well, it's, I, I hadn't seen. Um, I'd, I'd known your shop was there, and uh, I hadn't seen exactly what you do until only a few days ago, and uh, I was I was mightily impressed. Is Beach Station Road a good area for you? It's getting better, and I think now with the new building that's you know it's going yeah. to sort of bring us to the forefront yeah. um for a while beach station road was sort of a dead area of felix Do, uh, you know and and there are businesses starting to open and yeah. starting to come alive again no well, let's hope so yes <laughs> let's hope. No, it, it is looking quite vibrant up there actually because yeah. um, next door you've also got a young lady who's quite artistic isn't she? yes and, uh, yes she um, is. with material jane in the little fabric shop yeah, absolutely. yes so, uh, okay, so you, you're a shop. Um, if I'm interested in arty, crafty stuff, right, what sort of stuff can I buy from you? To, to buy things, um, mm. we do all sorts of things for card makers. Uh, we, we sell all their toppers and things for their cards, um, glues and all the glues and things that they need. We also sell a lot of, a lot of the MDF um, type things right, that yeah. people can paint on. Oh, yeah. That these yeah, can all yeah. be painted. Yeah. Um, we do we do napkin decoupage as well, which is a new thing. There, there right. is a, there show, is... show me this first, mm. then. So this, I'll I'll hold it up to a camera. Whoops, wrong camera. This is uh this is the the sign love. So you you bring these in, yeah. Yes. And yes. you turn them in when you say what do you say called napkin napkin decoupage. Napkin deco. Deco page, yes. Uh, is that a made up name? It's not at all, <laughs> not at all. It, they, the things that we use on on blanks, we call these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is, is they're just napkins which you can buy anywhere. Supermarkets sell napkins yeah, next absolutely. to nothing. Absolutely. And you just tear the first layer of the napkin off and a bit of PVA glue and you can. Are we end up with that? Uh, let's have a look here. Give me this, and I'll hold it up here for you. So from that original one, which was that one. Yeah. Oh, she's gone again now. We're over there now. <laughs> <You laughs> from the original something... one, which is that one. Yeah, you've decorated and that. And I do believe this is Kath Kitson. Yeah. And um, that's napkin. So and Kath Kitson is all the rage at the moment. So that yeah. yeah. So and that's just a paper napkin. It's a paper napkin. So how do you stick it on there? Just PVA, PVA glue. glue. Yeah, yep. as simple and as cheap as that. And and yep. then just a bit of indoor varnish on top. I was going to say, do you varnish over the top? Yes, yep. just to make them a bit more durable. Yeah, yep. indoor varnish. That's fantastic. And so you sell the you sell the blanks. Yes. And then you you can teach people how to do how to do it. How to do it. All right. So um, we're teaching people what to do, right? 
What sort of people? Who, who knocks on your door? Do, do you advertise? Do you, do you say, oh, look, please, this is what I do. Come along to our workshops. So how do people know you're there? Well, we've, we've done some advertising, but really it works word of mouth, people talking to people, and really me talking to people, and, and yeah. everybody that comes to the shop talking to people. Yeah. It's all about talking to people. So you don't do the craft fairs or anything like that? Or, or Not at the it? moment. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't, you don't drum up business that way then, so it's, it's purely word of mouth. It's word of mouth, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and people coming along, you know, people, yeah. we have, you know, people that suffer from depression and... and it should be all right here. <laughs> yes, you know, that, that are fed up with life, really, and all yeah. the awful stuff that goes on outside the door. Come on in, have a cup of tea, we get the biscuits out, sit and paint, oh. learn a new skill. That sounds ideal. And forget your worries. Yeah, chocolate biscuits? Oh, absolutely. Any oh, kind of biscuits. Fantastic. We all like biscuits. <laughs> so, okay, so we, we come along to your shop and, you, and you've got an area or you've got rooms or an area there where, where people just sit around the table and, yeah, and learn sit around how to the do table things. Yeah? And it's getting people together. New friendships yeah. are made and it's just, it's just lovely. It's yeah. a lovely atmosphere. And do, do people come back time and time again? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I've been open two and a half years and... and we, yeah, we, I see the same faces and new faces and they just keep coming back. And people are happy with you, yep. they're obviously doing, yep. doing that sort of thing. It's therapy. So it, is therapy. it is a therapy, it is a kind right? of therapy. Yeah. And for children as well. Oh, fantastic. So when you say children, small children? Yes, yep. Yeah. So, uh, up to, I think we've got a 14 year old girl that comes to us. Yeah. On a Saturday morning we have kids art and craft and they just kept come in on a Saturday morning. Oh, and. Right, yeah. uh, paint and do I teach them if they want to learn I can teach them how to draw we do watercolor painting teach them how to paint oh, so fantastic. yeah that's fantastic and do 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 um children's clubs come to you like uh, I don't know like uh, church clubs and... we have uh, yeah. regular from the play pit in from Felix the Stowe pit, yes just down the road, yeah. Yeah. we, we yeah. had some children from the play pit yesterday they come to us every holiday because we run a holiday club as well yeah where children can come and and, and do... But you're not a crash. <laughs> no. They have to be supervised, do they? You, the kind of mums can't drop the children off. Oh, they do. Do they? They do. I mean, we're CRB'd. Yeah, well, and, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, know, we're... So... And they, I think, really, they're so interested in what they're doing and so love making a mess with the paint because in the space yeah. that we have, they can yeah. make a mess. Nobody's yeah. going to tell them off. Yeah. Just explore. Explore your imagination. Yeah. Be creative. Absolutely. Don't worry yeah. about it. With anything. Any, Absolutely, any with anything. Material. So, uh, you've brought some things along, which we'll, we'll have a look at in a moment in a bit more detail. Yeah. But uh, what sort of the wackiest thing you've ever done? <laughs> this telephone, I think. Oh, the telephone, Was yeah. actually not done by myself, by a lady that, uh, that comes to the shop. Yeah. We taught her how to napkin decoupage. And she decided to... So this, this again, if, if, shall I hold this up? Which mm. way are we going, Sarah, this way? This is just a normal working telephone? Working telephone, and, and it's all oh, been napkin decoupaged. Let me just bring it over a bit closer. So this, this has been, that's just a napkin? Yes, Stuck on with just P a napkin PVA glue. with PVA glue. Yeah, and you turn them into something or you decorate That would look good Completely in anyone's, different. That would look Nobody good in else. anyone's hall, wouldn't it? Nobody else has got one. No? Well, it's not it. all of this mass it. produced, you know, into yeah. Ikea or wherever you're going. And everybody's got one. This is different. You ought to advertise that. You really, really ought to sort of say, you know, customise your... Yeah, your come and do something that nobody yeah. else has got and enjoy Should doing it. Should we put that back over there then? So if that's the wackiest type thing you've done, um, what's the biggest thing you've ever done? Have you done... Obviously, do you, do you do paper mache type things where you could make like a statue in paper mache and... Yes. Do you, do you do that sort of thing? Do we do that sort of thing? Um, yeah. It's very handy for my son when he's uh, <laughs> when he's got art projects. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> he comes yeah, to yeah. the shop, Mum, can you help with this? Yeah. I think the biggest was a um, volcano for oh, one right. of his other yeah. projects. Yeah. And, and that was great fun. I just stood there with red and yellow paint and, and yeah. orange paint and just let it drip just down the sides of it. Sides, it looked yeah. absolutely fantastic when it was finished. Oh, I bet it did. Yeah, it? So, I, I remember when I was a boy, and that was my one brain cell that's left, that is. Uh, I remember that when we was at school, and I really enjoyed doing it, we used to make puppet heads. We used to get plasticine. Yes. I think it was plasticine anyway. We'd make our head, and then we'd get newspaper and glue and 
make a paper mache packets, yeah. yeah? We used, to, we used to do that and they scoop the plastic. Oh, you cut them in half, I think. Cut them in half and scoop the plastic out and stick them back together yes. again, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you, you, so that, the, the volcano is probably the biggest thing you've done, isn't it? Or, um, or the cleverest? Uh, yes, the fun, the funnest, funniest. if that's a word. Yeah? I, I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it. It takes me back to my own childhood, doesn't it? Right. Playing around with paper mache. It's all yeah. about playing around with yeah. things, getting in a mess and enjoying yourself. Yeah. I go home most days covered in paint and, and think, you know, if I'm not covered in paint, I haven't achieved anything. <laughs> it's wonderful, it really is. <laughs> Fingers are all stuck together and you're covered in paint. Eh? Absolutely, so it's fantastic. A bit of tissue <laughs> stuck on your yeah. forehead, yeah? You think you've had a great day. It's fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic, yeah. Okay, so um, show me something you've made. Like you've got something here on the sofa here, which looks really good. If you hold that towards uh, Sarah's camera, that camera over there, if you can, can we have a look at that? There we go. There we, are. There we go. Where are we going, Sarah? Uh, the way, yeah, there we go. <laughs> right, there we go. So explain what this is for me then, Heather. That is called Altered Art. Yeah, Altered Art. Yeah. Altered Art, and that is on an MDF plaque. Yeah. Um, it's all with different, di Altered Art is, is using different mediums. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it was painted cream and then it, we used stamping um all of this was stamped this is image transfer from pictures oh right yes 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 uh then this was hand painted on there so it's a bit of a montage Speed, really. yeah it is a montage but yeah it's it's coming back into popularity because yeah. well yeah uh, you can pay well, a lot absolutely. of money for that or Ab make it yourself <laughs> yeah well there's a there's a shop up town that has things exactly like this in their shop. Yes. Um, I think it's a fabulous shop. I'm, I'm in there all the time looking at it. It's Defoe. Have you seen that one? You're thinking of a different I shop? I am thinking of a different shop. Oh, I'm thinking of Defoe. <laughs> right. Uh, I think that's what it's called anyway. It's, it's spelled D-E-A-V or something like that. But Defoe, I think it's called. Right. It's, um, it's just past Conker's, the pet shop. Oh, yes, yes. Just up there yes. on the right. And she has some wonderful stuff in there. They and do. I like going in just, just having a go. And that's the sort of stuff they have. Yes. So you have, you could work. And I teach you how to come and do it yourself. Well, you do. But, uh, you know, obviously we can't cut the wood out. <laughs> with little frets or going around. No, I have, all, I have all of these, the yeah, MDF you, blanks. You make them all And they're, they're so reasonable. Yeah. Really. And, and, you know, so to, to make it yourself yeah. for what the price you'd pay in a shop, you know, for the finished well, absolutely, product. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can half yeah. the price, you can make it for yeah. yourself. Half the price? Well, there we go. Uh, absolutely. Okay, well, there's a little outlet for you there anyway, you know, because <laughs> I'm sure local artists would go down well, local people would go down very well in this sort of thing. So, um, that's one that you've made. Have you got something anyone else made here? I have. I've got a lady and her daughter come in on a Saturday afternoon. All right, yeah, just carry on talking about This is an MDF bin. Um, yeah. Plain MDF, like the love Yeah, thing and you sell the bin. Uh, we sell, yep, we sell all of these. They're called blanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah just blanks, um, yeah. And she came in to learn how to do the decorative art. Yeah. Uh, which isn't fine art. You don't have to be an artist, but you can learn how to do this. And, and the lady that has finished this so, had never done it before. Let me just have ever. a look here. So that's, that's been drawn on painted, yeah? Yeah, that's it. So you have to have some sort Simple, of artistic some Magnolia paint on yeah. the back. Yeah. On the you know on the base, and no, they're just simple. It's a simple with a chalk pencil, just doodle some shapes. Yeah, and it's actually and then, the way that you paint it, right, that turns it into something realistic looking. Well, that's fantastic. So okay. yeah, you don't have to be an artist. So that's quite that's quite a large object, isn't it? So how long will it take the lady to do that? Is that a day's project, or is that? A week? No, she turned it into a few a few weeks. A few weeks, you know, yeah. 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 Just coming in and, and sitting and painting, really. Just having a go. Yeah. Over oh, that a, a cup of tea and a biscuit or so. That, that <laughs> sounds absolutely marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. So that's that's quite a simple. That's just a a, a, a box or a, a bin yeah. of some sort. Yeah. Um, I see you've got a cow there. The cow. <laughs> He's our little mascot. I don't know if you can see him. I don't know. Uh, okay. He's just a simple paper mache cow that's been napkin decoupaged. <laughs> So, but he's uh, so cute. Uh, yeah, actually, this is going to my puppet heads, isn't it? Yes. 
So somebody made that from from scratch. Well, the cow is a blank. It's a paper mache oh. blank. Oh, I see. Um, oh, I see. You so you supply that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, well, you just decorate. So pennies, really, and then it's just napkin decoupage on top of it. Even with the sheep, are they sheep? They're cows. Oh, they can't cross out the spot. I've never seen <laughs> a spot of sheep. The feet of the cow are painted in black. Yeah. So it's just about using your imagination. So was that an adult made that, or was it? A yes. It was an adult. It was. It was an adult who did that. Yeah. That's but, really that's really cool as well. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So let's go on to the other things you have there. Let's uh, let's go right into it. You've got a small flower pot. Yep. This is the decorative art that I teach, which yeah. is canal barge. Painting. That's right, yes. That's now, the, the I love that. British version. Yeah, yeah, I well, really love that. I teach all the worldwide variations of decorative art. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to say, the children get it a lot quicker than the adults do. Yeah. But it's therapeutic. It's a lovely, lovely way. Well, I see that of uh, actually the picture on here, if you turn yes. it towards me, a shade, that's it. The picture on here is actually quite detailed. Is, is that a painting or is that a. That's hand painted. Yeah, and, you and did these that, little obviously. strokes are called comma strokes because they look like a comma. Look like commas, yeah. And it's one stroke. I don't know if any, if you've heard of one stroke with Donna Dewberry. No. Um, and it is. It's just you load your brush, you tip it in a different colour, and then you pull one stroke. You just get... to create that. It's just yeah. the way that you put all those strokes together. Uh, yeah, you know the satisfaction. That's just an old flower pot, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's, yeah. It's just a flower pot. Just a flower and pot. And you've turned that into something quite quite good. If, yes. I, if I'd made that, I'd have been very proud of myself. To make, well, I've, to make I've, I've got like people that, in you know? the shop making that, this sort of thing all the yeah. time. They, they learn yeah. how to do this and then yeah. they progress on to doing the rose and... So have you, you know, ever done any barge work? work? Um, have you ever painted a watering can? Yes. Uh, yeah, you've done a watering can. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the thing that stands on it, barges. Yes, so, yeah. You know, they do the watering cans and the pots. And, yes, I've, I've yeah. painted all of those. I had yeah. one lady who learnt how to, how to do this and, and really took to the canal barge painting style of, of this yeah, art yeah, more yeah, than yeah. any yeah. of the other styles. Yeah. And her dream now is to actually paint a barge. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to paint a barge. And I've always wanted to have a barge so she can paint mine when I, when I finally get one. Yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Now, I see uh, behind you there, um, you'll just have to sort of point that one out if Sarah can get to it. But that's uh, a plaque, yeah? It um, is. Um, it's is just, that hand painted? It is. Yeah. Um, but to go, this is what I learned in, yes. you know, many years ago yeah. to what I do now. So you oh, can right. actually, as I said, you don't have to be an artist. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. all the way that you transfer the image on there and you paint the image using shading and, and yeah. all that sort yeah, of different yeah, yeah. techniques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's whimsical decorative art. Right, yes. But it's all I'm decorative serious. art. But you, you actually painted that. Yes. Yeah, I can tell it was done by <laughs> somebody who actually knows what they're doing. But yeah, that's dead that's really cool. That's but really I've also cool. done a workshop... Um, with with ladies doing doing this so i've actually had yeah. some of the ladies that i've been teaching who started with comma strokes have actually painted that as well right ladies that yeah. have never painted before in their lives yeah i just love the colors on there i think those colors are lovely the, the sort of dark um yeah reddy browny color and i think that stands out really well that, that's fantastic that but again it's all all your imagination you can use so whatever do you, colors do you do these things yourself yes Yes, I do, I do quite you, you a few don't commissions. Go market, you don't do um, uh, fairs, country fairs or anything like that? Not yet. Not no. yet. It's, it's, as I say, it's having the time. Yeah. We're so you know, busy in the shop with, yeah. with do, and, and commissions as well. People yeah. will come in and ask me to, um, to paint things for them. <laughs> <laughs> as I did this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that's just a little project of mine. But, uh, okay, so um, do you have a website? Yes, I do. You it's do, and the website address is? is? www.purpleprintsdesign.co.uk And if people wanted to come and see you? I'm at 12 Beach Station Road uh, in Felixstowe, and we are open from 9.30 till 4 o'clock. Is that every day? We're having Sundays off at the moment, otherwise yeah. we wouldn't get a day off because we're busy with kids' clubs do you find, during do you find the summer. That, um, do you find that the people that come, because well, the town or the seafront gets quite busy of a weekend, doesn't it? Especially on a Sunday when people pour in in the market, yes. etc. 
but you're not open that day, but uh, don't you think people we, we would are. Oh, we, you are we, open, it, eh? not the sun not during the summer holidays though, because oh. we work from Monday to Friday for kids club. Um, ah, which right. can be very busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I think yeah. throughout the whole day, we had about 15 children wow. on and off. Yeah. Um, and it's hard work. Yeah. It is hard work. I, it's enjoyable work. I absolutely love it. Then Saturdays, we have kids' club in the morning and then adults in the afternoon. The adults come in in the afternoon once yeah. we've tidied up. <laughs> so Sundays, we do need a day off. It's usually collapse and do the housework. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> so um, obviously, this is a business. So these people don't come for free. How much? How much do you charge for a session of of painting? It, right. well, obviously, they have to buy the materials from you. That they do. Using. If I'm teaching, it's five pounds an hour. Uh huh. Um, once they learn how to do the techniques, how you know, once they've learned how to do it themselves, they come in, and they can sit and do for three pounds an hour. Oh yeah. Um, so they just come in and they, they just do, come in. They sit down and, and they can do their own project. It, it's not a money making place. It's it's there for everybody. Yeah, but everybody has overheads. It must. Have been. Oh yes, as long as as long as we can pay the rent. Yeah. And pay the bills and keep the shop open for people that need yeah. us, and that need somewhere to to go, then that is what I enjoy. That's what I'm happy with. Oh right. Yeah, it's, so? it's I do it for love of being able to yeah. paint and share them. Well, you've what brought you've brought us some lovely things in. You you really have. So uh, if people start knocking on your door. Um, could you get much busier where you are? Could you handle more people? Yes, I have a lovely lady that helps me called right, Margaret, right. Margaret, who Hello, is probably Margaret. watching. Hello, Margaret, <laughs> and hi, Jane. <laughs> um, and and she's she's a godsend. She uh, yeah yeah because I like the painting. She teaches the napkin decoupage. Oh. I I taught her. She came in and I taught her how to do the napkin decoupage. She came in just to yeah. to learn to do things, and she stayed. And oh, now fantastic. she helps me. <laughs> How fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Bless us. Well, it's been a pleasure. We must go all this to an end, I'm afraid. Um, so uh, we're a little bit short, but uh, I think we've covered almost everything there is to cover. I don't know if there's anything else you'd like to add at all to the proceedings. Just come on down, and if you feel like you've never painted and you don't know how to, yeah. yes, you can. Come so anybody, it actually, it's, it's a bit of a therapy thing, isn't it? So for anybody that's Absolutely. feeling under the weather, yes. stressed or anything, come on in. and just want to close the door on it Shut for an hour. Shut the problems outside the door and yeah. just come Leave the problems be with the door. Come on in other people, make just, friends. Yeah, and just chill. And incidentally, I taught my 98-year-old grandmother how to paint like this, and my dad, who can't paint a straight line with a ruler, apparently. Draw yeah. a straight line with a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Who's probably watching as well, I don't. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, it's been a pleasure uh, to talk about this and to, you to tell us about what you do and some wonderful things here. And I'm sure if people could poke their head through your door, absolutely. they'd Come be on absolutely in. amazed and most at what welcome. goes on as I was. Yep. All right, so thank you very much. And uh, thank you everyone thank you. out there for watching.